Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I do 100% of the production for this channel all in Linux, and the video editor that I use is DaVinci Resolve. Now, I use the studio version of DaVinci Resolve because there's some extra capabilities that I wanted, and that's what this video is going to apply to. I'm gonna make a similar video to this for the free version, so keep a lookout for that, but this is specifically for the studio version because in the studio version, you can use H.264 MP4 files but you can't decode the AAC audio that's inside that MP4. So when you load the MP4 into Resolve, there's no audio associated with it. Well, I found a very quick way to manipulate those files so that you can use it in DaVinci Resolve and it doesn't require full transcoding of the video, which takes several minutes. This method only takes a few seconds per video. So let's jump right onto the computer and I'll show you how I did it. All right, so here we are on the desktop and we're in DaVinci Resolve already. And I just wanted to show you real quickly what I was talking about. And if we go out to this directory, we have two uh, 4K MP4 H.264 files. Now these can only use the AAC codec. If we play them back in, in our operating system, they play back fine with the audio and everything. But when we bring them into Resolve, we can go and scrub through them and everything, but you can see we have the show clip audio waveform. There's no waveform. If we play back, there's no audio. Resolve, the studio version of Resolve cannot handle the AAC audio within the MP4, even though it can handle the MP4 H.264. Now, the way that I found to counteract this is super easy and quick and you don't need to transcode the entire file we only need to transcode the audio portion so let me just show you this script i came up with really quickly here and i apologize for my poor scripting you know etiquette or whatever i am not a scripter i just kind of hacked this together from stuff that i found online so basically all this does is it's going to create this um, original directory and what this script does is after it's done converting the files, it copies the original into that original directory so that you have those. And if you ever ne need to get back to the original media with the AAC audio, you still have access to that. But basically this is the line that we're concerning ourselves with, this FFmpeg. If you don't have FFmpeg installed on your system, you need to install that first. If you're on an Ubuntu based system, you can type in sudo apt install FFmpeg. If you're on Arch, you can get it from you know, the, your repository or whatever. Most distributions come with it though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert the audio codec, that's what this A codec stands for. We're gonna convert that to PCM16 and just about everything can read that, including DaVinci Resolve. Now, you can't put that inside an MP4 because MP4s can only have the AAC audio. So we need to convert this to something and we're gonna copy the video codec. So we're just basically unwrapping that mp4 taking that h.264 out of it and then we're going to wrap that up as an mov because movs can support different types of audio rather than aac now because we're just converting the audio and we're only copying the video it's super quick and it doesn't take as long as a full transcoding of a video so for instance this is 100 879 megabytes and this is 820 megabytes these files would take probably a, a, you know a, at least a minute or two to transcode to something else but since we're just doing the audio portion if we go out to our terminal and we run this convert mp4 to mov it just runs for a few seconds and that's it that was in real time that's what it took to convert it because again we're just moving the h.264 to the mov and converting the audio portion so if we look in the original directory we have the original mp4s and if we look in this directory we have the movs now these are roughly the same file size because we're not doing a transcoding and making bigger files we'll, we're just moving it to a different container basically and now if we get rid of these mp4s and we load in these movs into resolve we can see that we have our full audio waveforms we can play them back the audio is there everything's working fine and we can edit these 
to our heart's content. We didn't lose any video quality because we didn't transcode the video. We just copied it to another container. We lost a tiny bit of audio quality by converting it to a PCM audio. But honestly, if you're doing something like uh, YouTube, you're never gonna notice that anyway because of the compression with YouTube. I'll have this script available if you wanna download it and you can just run it on your files in your directory, load them into Resolve Studio. I tried using these same videos in the free version of Resolve and unfortunately it didn't work. Uh, it showed the audio, but it didn't show any of the video because the free version can't do H.264. So you have to fully transcode those videos. I'm working on a video now where I'll walk you through those steps, but for the purposes of this video, it applies to Resolve Studio only. Hopefully you found this useful and informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really like this and you wanna see more like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.